I'm starting my own religion. I'm sorry, what? I'm calling it mathology. It's based on a universal binary system. That's terrific, Sheldon, but this is a Baptist Sunday school. I know. I'm here to convert everybody. History is repeating itself. Young Sheldon, the hit series spawned by the popular sitcom The Big Bang Theory, is now itself coming to an end. Here's Luke Burbank on Happy Endings. Missy, you broke something at the dinner table. When you've got yourself a bona fide TV hit like CBS does with young Sheldon, you don't typically end the show at the height of its popularity. While well, dad's gone, I'm the man of the house, and the man of the house has to enforce the rules. The man of the house is about to get his teeth knocked out. Puberty's made you mean. But then again, there's nothing <laughs> typical about the Cooper family or their Why brilliant, sometimes misunderstood son, Sheldon. There's the cafeteria, if you like tuna salad with hair in it. Over there's the quad. It's a nice place to relax if you like getting hit in the head with frisbees. And for a show that's brought a lot of laughs over the years, there sure were a lot of tears backstage last week. You and I were texting, and you said something about, like, you were crying your eyes out. Yes. Edit, did you mean that, like, figuratively? Or have no, you actually been, literally. have you been crying? <laughs> literally <laughs> crying. When we caught up with executive producers Steve Malaro and Steve Holland, <laughs> that better? Yeah. All right. They were editing the final frames of a show whose success has surprised <laughs> even them. Did you think, oh, this is gonna be another huge hit? Never, or? no. We, we would, don't, would never dare to assume we know what we're doing at that level. That boy has an exposed tattoo. He does. I wonder if he knows that's in violation of the dress code. And I think even when you guys wrote the pilot, there was a lot of like, to do what Jim Parsons does on Big Bang Theory is a one in a million shot, because there's so many ways that character could come off grating or irritating, but there's such a sweetness to Jim that like it sort of breaks through that, and you're like, well, is it possible that there's a kid who's eight who can do that? This is the Ian they found. Let me give you a little background. Ian Armitage, from his audition tape, recorded over Christmas break at his grandparents' house on a cell phone. This is my Harry Potter magic wand. I got it. We first met Ian when our Tracy Smith interviewed him back in 2017. What do you think you're going to be doing in 20, 30 years? I think I, I really, I hopefully I'm doing magic tricks in Las Vegas. I have to really constantly remind myself that if I'm ever sad about this ending, I can only be sad because it's been so incredible and so wonderful. In fact, Armitage has pulled off a sort of magic trick. Can we go in and take a look at I'd where the magic has been happening be all these years? Please follow me. <laughs> all right. Helping carry a network TV hit. Hello, I'm Sheldon Cooper. And becoming famous, all while staying surprisingly, disarmingly even, pleasant to be around. It is, it is funny. I think of this as my house. <laughs> yeah. The set might feel like home, but Armitage says he's never quite gotten used to being a TV star. When I go home and when I see you know, Thursday night at 8, you know, young Sheldon, and I see commercials for it, it feels really weird. <laughs> but I think aside from just delivering the lines, I think it's trying to stay true to Jim Parsons mm. and his incredible Sheldon while kind of making it my own to a degree. Speaking of Jim Parsons, he's, of course, where the character of Sheldon Cooper started on The Big Bang Theory. It all started with The Big Bang Parsons says there's a certain irony to the fact that many Sheldon fans are unaware there ever was a show called The Big Bang Theory. Almost all of my friends who have children always tell me young Sheldon's on all the time in our house. And so it's playing to an entirely different a demographic that wasn't born when, when we started our show and whatever. A demographic that frequently doesn't know what you're talking about when you say Big Bang Theory, but they watch Young Sheldon. Hmm. And that's been, that's been great. Now, is saying, where are you going? Library. Which brings us back to where we started. Why are the show's creators ending things, considering how popular it is? Well, for one, the timeline. Young Sheldon is starting to collide with plot points from the Big Bang Theory, which gets complicated. Hello, Mr. Jennings. Mr. Cooper here. But also, maybe because as executive producer Steve Malaro sees it, the character of Sheldon Cooper has accomplished his mission, which it turns out is actually a pretty important one. Some of my favorite moments are 
when a mom will come up with her son after a panel and say, my son's a lot like Sheldon, and I know what she means. Uh, he's having a tough time, he's different. And thank you for making kids like him more accepted. And the fact that we could even move maybe the needle a little bit on that in the world is the, a reason to, to do this whole show.